I suppose I should do an intro. <laughs> Welcome back to another video from Alex Does DIY. My name is Alex. Thank you for coming along again. Thank you for watching. <sighs> Excuse me while I catch my breath. <sighs> okay, um, we're out for another camp for this weekend and uh, decided to return to somewhere familiar. There's reasons for that that I will go into shortly and once we get down there. Right now I'm just trying to get down there. I'm trying to find a direct route down there. I thought let's just cut a straight line straight from where I leave the car down to where I want to go. It's a lot of bush bashing. I've certainly uh, climbed down some rock faces that I'm a little bit uh, doubtful that I'm going to get back up. Uh, but it's been good fun, a lot of sliding. I've only fallen, oh, probably not more than about 15 or 23 times. Um, so, I think I'm about halfway down. Um, I don't know if this route is going to be faster than the way I would normally go, or the way I left last time, or all those sorts of things. Uh, we'll cover that later. Anyway, I've got to head down there. It seems like there's a bit of a dry creek bed, so I'm going to get on with it. I'll give that one a miss. I was going to cross on that. <laughs> Might have been ill advised. Anyway, let's move on. Hope you don't find all my heavy breathing a distraction when you're watching these videos. But, uh, I'm slowly getting better. <laughs> 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 This is looking promising. Still alive. Looks like a pretty uh, clear path to me. All right, I made it. Excuse me a minute. that coronavirus um i made it um that route i just took the more direct route was definitely quicker um without even taking into consideration the amount of time you kind of stop to set up the camera and go backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and all that sort of stuff and then stopping to try and figure out where the hell you're gonna go that's taken me uh 47 minutes 47 minutes where i think last time it was an hour and a half so i chopped that in half Am I going to go, am I going to go back up that way? Um, nah, there's, there's some stuff there that's probably a little bit impassable, or at least I think you need more of a line of sight going down to pick your route through. I think going back up would be a little bit harder. So I think going back, I'm going to take the same way I did last time. Anyway, enough of that. So let, why am I here? Let me put my bag down and, and catch me breath. Hang on. Rightio, so, plans. Why have I returned to this spot? As you know, if you've seen the previous two videos where I filmed from this location, I have been here two times before. Um, and today's just a quick video to kind of talk about future for this channel um, moving forward. Um, I've been thinking about ideas of what I can do to come up with content, you know, moving on. It's it would be nice to have these romantic ideas to going to r remote locations or very picturesque locations, but to do that on such a regular basis takes a fair bit of planning and um, this 
like today's campers had zero planning something I can do spur of the moment which is a little bit more my style so um, but I, I wanted to create some content that has some um, continuity to it a bit of a flow something that um, will make you want to come back obviously for future videos um, I've been inspired somewhat by Craig from Bushcraft and Camping Adventures um, and thanks for this Craig and I do apologize but I'm kind of stealing a little bit of an idea in that I'd like to kind of, I really like this concept of, of uh, building a bushcraft sort of base camp. So, yeah, but no, that's certainly what I, I'd like to do. So I've decided on this location where I've been before, it's just super convenient for me. Um, it's like an hour drive to where I park the car and, you know, an hour to hike in here now. So, and that's probably going to get faster and faster as time goes on. So yeah, so that's what I'm thinking of doing. So look, comment down below, give me your thoughts, let me know what you think. It's gonna be a lot of learning process along the way through that for, for everyone, I, I hope. And um, I'm certainly no bushcraft expert. Um, so yeah, there's, it's gonna be a lot for me to learn. And uh, so I'm just looking at a spider hole. Possibly. Um, yeah, and I think it'd be fun. It'd be pretty cool. Um, it, I don't know exactly at what spot it's going to be. It's not going to be right here where I camp. It'll be around here. I kind of want to blend more into the bush just in case we do get people walking past. It's also going to be very dependent on what materials I can source. I don't want to be hiking materials in here um, and I don't want to be doing any damage to the environment and that sort of thing. But yeah, sort of constructing some sort of shelter I can return to. I have these ideas of building like some sort of stone and clay um, oven and fireplace and these sorts of things um, so I can do some cooking and, and all that I don't I mean we're about to head into summer I don't know how that's going to affect the situation um, yeah so let me know what you think um, I'm gonna I'm just here today really just to scout around have a quick camp have a meal I've only brought one meal with me but that'll do me till tomorrow um, yeah so let me know what you think I think it's a good spot we need some water. I don't think there's any water flowing at the moment, but I think there's puddles down there that I can uh, source some water from. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope you come back for a, a series if that turns out to be the case. All right, so let's get on with it, eh? Oh, I should have brought some bloody... Oh, I should have brought some bloody mozzie spray, but the mozzies are everywhere. So, I'm, uh, I'm going to get smashed, I think. I might need to get a fire going pretty soon. All right, let's have a look around. All right, we've got no worries with water. There's even the, the slightest bit of a trickle over here somewhere. So, um, yeah, plenty of pools of water there that you can see. A bit different the last time I was here, though, obviously. laughing. Camp's pretty much sorted, so in the vein of what we're trying to do here, a bit of uh, bushcraft, bushcrafting, let's try a bushcraft project, I suppose, isn't that the whole point? So I figure the first thing I'm probably going to need if I'm going to be bushcrafting is a bit of a bit of a hammer, a bit of hammer time, a bit of a wooden mallet. Bloody these mozzies, they're ginormous. Anyway, so I've gone and cut myself a bit of log from the uh, wood pile that I left from last time so see if we can have a crack 
the uh, the grains aren't all that even on this one. I don't know if that's going to make a difference. It's the centre there and goes out this way. I don't know if that'll turn out to be a, a good thing or a bad thing. On the back side, it's pretty much the same. So anyway, let's see if we can uh, turn this into something that roughly resembles a hammer, eh? So first off, I want to... Hey, oh, okay, before we get started, don't be coming to me for instruction on how to do these sorts of things. I'm just having a good old crack, that's it. And that's what I would encourage anyone to do, eh? Just get out there and have a good old crack. It's how you learn. So I don't know if I'm doing things the right way. There's plenty of proper experts out there on YouTube. Go and watch uh, Gordon Deadman if you want to know how to survive out in the bush. And people like those guys. I'm just some amateur. I'm no, not an expert in nothing. But we're just going to give it a crack. So first thing I want to do is try and get the remainder of the, uh, the soft bark off this, eh? All right, there we go. That's the, uh, all the soft, soft stuff off. That came off pretty easy. So now, um, deciding on, I probably should have cut about here because there was a branch here, but we'll leave that in and see how we go. How big we want the head of our hammer. I'm thinking maybe, what do you reckon? Decent sized mallet. That'll bloody do. Rightio. Next we've got to just mark roughly where we want our handle to be. I suppose in the centre. Oh, these freaking mozzies and flies. You're obviously better off marking this bigger than it's eventually going to be. You can, you can always take material off, you can't put it back on. And then just kind of like square it off. Oh, Jesus. And then where you've squared it off, the idea is you mark your... I don't know if you can see that, so I've squared it off. Where, the, where it's squared off, I'm just making some marks on the outside. <laughs> so, and then what we want to do is make some corresponding marks at this end. Keep in mind, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. Right. Right. So, the next thing to do is we've got to get the saw. New blade. We've got to get the saw, and we've got to chop into here, only down probably about the, let's see, right on the width of that, that blade there as a kind of, as a stop, because what we're going to do obviously is then use the knife, batten the knife down to try and take that material off and we want to stop it at this point. Probably not the safest thing to be doing it like this, is it? Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, yeah, that'll do it, I think. There we go, I think that'll do it for now. It's probably a little bit on the weighty side. I could probably take a little bit more off, and I probably will over time. I might even maybe take inch, inch and a half off of this end as well, because uh, I'll end up with arms like Schwarzenegger using this thing, but I'm assuming it's gonna work. Should be good. There we go, hammer.
Right, that's the eating over and done with. Um, that's a pretty good meal. The uh, yeah, steak was definitely a little bit overdone for my liking. The second one not quite as overdone as the first one, but uh, yeah, it's still pretty good. Table still standing strong. Not bad, eh? That worked out good. Um, fire's all but about out. I just chucked another bit of bit of wood in there. It's um, I can start to see. It looks like the uh, it's overcast now. And possibly some darker clouds moving up from the south so um, we might be in for a little bit of rain still getting smashed by mozzies smashed by mozzies and flies they're just relentless they won't shut up the mozzies won't bite won't stop biting so I'm, I'm covered in bites already <laughs> um, so yeah lesson learned there I really should have bought some repellent um, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm actually, yeah, I'm gonna have a kip, or I'm, or I'm gonna, I think I'm actually probably just gonna get him in the bed and, um, chuck an audio book on, seems to be my new favourite thing, and, um, I might just see us in the morning unless the boogeyman comes through and I can get that on camera. Alright, I'll catch you in a moment. Well, good morning to a, uh, wet and rainy morning, it was raining most of the night. Um, probably could have done it with putting up that other tarp, I think. It's uh, certainly brought the mozzies out in force this morning. I've been very reluctant to get out of the tarp just because I knew it was coming, but, you know, bodily functions force that on, unfortunately. So, yes. Quite a bit of rain throughout the night. But uh, we stayed dry, so all was good. Um, the table's still standing. That's something. Um, so... Yeah, look, I'm not going to hang around too too long today, I think. I think I'm going to, uh, there's been a bit of a break in the rain, which is good. So I'm going to take advantage of that, I think, and start packing up and uh, get the hell out of here. I haven't got anything for breakfast, so, um, and I can forego the coffee, so there's no point struggling to, fight, to start a fire in the rain. Um, in terms of searching for a, uh, a bushcraft uh, campsite or base campsite, yeah, mixed results really. There's there was a couple of sites on the other side of the creek there that were kind of okay and you know weren't too level. Trying to look for spots, it's hard to find a spot here where there isn't much of a clearing or um, too much deadfall above. Um, there's a couple of spots just over this way which might be okay, but um, yeah, I'm not too too impressed with the location for that at the moment. So I, I may return here, I may choose to go somewhere else, but I'm certainly going to start the search. So, um, yeah, anyway, let, let me know what you think. So um, I also have to think, I don't know how big or permanent such a structure is going to be. Well, it's not going to be permanent, but you know what I mean. But I, I, don't, want to, I don't want just a lean-to with some leaves over the roof. That's, I want something a little bit more substantial than that. So anyway, I'm going to uh, crack on with um, packing everything up, like I said, while there's a break in the rain and start moving out of here. All right, that's camp packed up. Um, I'm not going to worry about camping and packing the rest of this stuff up than the whole leave no trace like I normally do because it kind of, you know, doesn't really make sense if I'm potentially going to be coming back and uh, making making a more permanent uh, bushcraft base camp which you know now I think about it I'm kind of thinking I've never seen another person here um, so it might actually, might actually end up just being here I mean why the hell not so um, and the the table that you saw me use and put together and that that's there's no there's no unnatural cordage no paracord or anything like that which would have been a hell of a lot easier and it's so it'll be interesting to see um, when I come back next time, one, if it's still standing, <laughs> and um, two, if maybe if anyone's touched it or maybe someone's taken the hammer, or you know, which doesn't bother me. I can always make another one. That's kind of the whole idea of bushcraft, really. Um, so, yeah, that's it. I'm out of here. I'm already getting smashed again by mozzies. I'm so itchy from mozzie bites on my head. I have them everywhere at the moment, though. Oh. So, yeah, insect repellent next time, or maybe, actually there's one buzzing around the camera, um, maybe a thermocell or something like that, I don't know. We're going to have to figure out some sort of solution, because, uh, yeah, 
that's a bit of a pain. All right, so anyway, I'm out of here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up as always. If you're not subscribed and you like this sort of content and you think you'd like to enjoy watching a bit more of the bushcrafty stuff, please hit that subscribe, hit the bell so you get the notification. You know how it goes, da 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 um, Anyway, yeah, like I said, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching all the way to the end and I'll see you next time.